Hi everyone, it's Agnes and I have got a, another wonderful interview planned for you today. Today it's with Dashneet. Dashneet is in, where are you Dashneet? I'm in London, <laughs> southwest London. I knew that but I thought I'd let you say it. So hello. So, hello, so, hello to the world. Yes. And uh, oh. some, some, somewhere you're familiar with as well. Agnes. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. My second home. I live like, it's like two bookends, Sydney, London, Sydney, London, Sydney, London. And I love both places. Yeah. Oh. It's actually a sunny day today. So, so we're yeah? doing good. Oh, yeah. good. It's, well, a, in it's a rare sunny day here. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Well, when I left, it was fantastic. And today in Sydney, it's 32 and tomorrow it's going to be 15. So you just, in both countries, just one extreme and then the other. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I assume with you, you're sort of, you're making the best of both worlds. Do you, you try and avoid it when, you, when, you, yeah. when it's winter here? Yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> I try, I try. Um, but then there is a relationship that, you know, I need to get back to. So, um, of course, yeah. you know, I do need to be not away for too long. Not away for too long. So today we had a chat about talking about meaningful work and business and where you're at and where you're heading and all that and where you've been. So I'm going to hand it over to you and you can start wherever you want to start. Sure. Um, okay. Well, I, I, so it's a difficult, it's difficult to know where to start because it's, it's obviously such been such a, um, a long journey, arduous at times, uh, as, as you know, I've, uh, at the very start when I did first reach out to you, uh, for anyone listening out there, I, uh, I naturally got in touch with, with Agnes uh, at probably one of the lowest points of my life. Um, I'm an incredibly optimistic, positive character. Um, some would argue maybe too driven. And what I've come to learn through this journey, through learning some of the, you know, through learning your work as well, um, the thing, the, the analogy that found, you know that that was really difficult for me to to comprehend was the being an action figure because i'm so performance driven um i mean i, I do in my day-to-day -day, i'm still working in sports data um so i manage a division and and as you can imagine there's there's, there's numerous performance targets um and i've always had that sort of belief in myself and that capacity to to think that you know if you set your mind to something um you you know you you, you put the you put the action into it and you put the work into it and you should derive the results and it's kind of always worked for me in my life. The difficulty I've had over the last few years is, uh, you know, you've had, as you mentioned, past things like past conditioning coming up, resistance, internal, emotional turmoil. Mm. Um, that that probably when I was younger didn't hinder my progress when I was putting the action into it. Um, so it's almost like I was free flowing action, um, towards my targets when I was younger. And then in the last few years, it's, it's been like, I've, I've almost been battling it, it, you know, trying to derive results from my action whilst facing resistance. And then you're just, and then you're just hitting a, 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 a wall at times. Mm. So, so that's, that's how I got in touch with you. Um, probably as, as from many other of you are the, your other viewers, I was trying to gain comprehension um, as to as to you know this uh, potentially you know I got, got in touch because of a specific person. Um, it, I'd hit a low point. I'd uh, been aware of everything that had transpired in the relationship um, and still carried them out due to you know we won't go into that on on for the purpose of this call as we've discussed but maybe on another call we'll discuss that but that's that's how i got in touch with you that's how, how i started learning your work yeah um and even still through that process even you know i was i was doing multiple different things i was doing kundalini yoga i i come from quite a spiritual and eastern background anyway um so you know i have a community of spiritual people around me um, who've, been, who've been very helpful to my life, but at, at those times when you're when you're lacking faith and lacking understanding of what's going on in your life, you probably rely on them too much, and that was that's probably counter to the self love thing uh, concept that you teach. And I've I've kind of you know a year and a half on, I'm 
I still consult them objectively because they're an important part of my life. But, um, but I've, I've developed that self love foundation and got myself back on track, which is, which is the vital thing. And that's, I'm in that place where the, you know, my, I'm sort of more in control of my energy. Um, I, you will have tough days. Um, we all do. Um, it's part of life. Um, I think I watched an, a, a video the other day that basically explained, um, I can't remember who, who it was, but the credit goes to someone else, but um, it was a very quick, quick snap, a quick video, and it was talking about how life is, uh, um, you know, when you see the, the, the life machine of, of someone and they're dead, it's, it's a flat line. But when they're living, it's, it's up and down. Mm. And that's kind of that kind of relates to how 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 our lives are how our lives transpire um you know you have to take the ups and the downs and it's how you bounce back from the downs as well yeah and and this and and that's that's the essence of living so if you're not prepared to to accept that essence of living then you're 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 struggling you know yeah um and and the same applies that same concept would apply to that same concept would apply to entrepreneurship, which is what, what I've been getting into over the last one and, one and a half years. Um, and that's something that, aside from trying to get enlightened about a specific, first, a specific person and how I, how I wanted to correct that situation at the time, um, you know, I think one of the first personalized meditations you did for me, which I still, to this day, a year and a half on, um, listen to, um, you know, ha- had me visualizing the, the life that I want, so effectively living in the end result. And, um, you know, we still talk. It, I, I listened to it this morning before I spoke to you. And <laughs> actually, the, 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 the concept there was also um, visualize, you know, your business uh, taking off, visualize uh, the results that you want to see and, 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 and see how those results are coming in. And throughout that year and a half, it's, you know, that visualization has always changed progressively as, as I progress. I mean, now I'm starting to, because we're live and we're launched, I'm starting to visualize this. So it's, I'll, I'll explain it in a minute, but it's, it's a subscription kit. Yeah. Um, so the business is called uh, Gaia's Riches, Gaia Latin for Mother Earth. Okay. Um, and it's a, it's a hundred percent Natural products business um, designed purely for 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 holistic oral healthcare, but okay. purely 100% natural and based on Ayurvedic principles. Yeah. So the Eastern science of life, and that's something that I've been incorporating in my lifestyle um, for a long time. Um, I this is going to sound cheesy as hell, but it's um, I hope I have the smile to back it up. <laughs> um, so I mean, you know. I, I believe that a smile is crucial to, to everything that you do. And I think the world, everyone should be smiling more. Yeah. Um, and, you know, it, it, as the saying goes, smile and the world smiles with you. But at the same time, I wanted to marry that with, with rooting yourself in nature because I think as a modern society, we've, we've lost track of that. We've grown far too, too far apart from our source and that's kind of you know it connects so well with the with the work that you do the work with the with the mental with the mental health stuff as well with with everything that the self-love concept with 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 what abram abram hicks talks about as well which is connect to source yeah and so there's a connect to source internally by being in your body but we also, I also believe that we need to connect to source with the products that we use because the more mm. chemical products that we're using, the more we're moving away from source. Yep. And that's ultimately what I wanted to do. And I obviously saw the gap with oral healthcare. And I wanted, obviously, you, you have the marketplaces, you have brands selling natural products. But what I wanted was a, a subscription kit delivered to people's doors every month. Okay. Uh, and it's a holistic kit. So it's about five different oral health products. And, and we've just launched and, and it's been, you know, a, a year and a half of hard work doing it on the side. Yeah. As I still, as I still sort of work day to day, I still, I'm still working in sports, but there's sports data and I yeah. needed to fund myself. Yeah. So I probably, probably put, you know, more pressure than was necessary. And through this whole journey, I was still going through the ups and downs and that, you know, the, the, in the initial depression, 
from the specific person and yeah. and overcoming that and then and and then re effectively rebuilding my self esteem mm. because it, it it had hit rock bottom when I first contacted you. Yes. What a great thing though, Dash, to have something like this that's so close to your heart in terms of what you believe as a way to help you pull yourself out of the stuff with the specific person because it's something positive and it's something new and it's something that's for you. You're not working for someone else. Are you in this sure. business on your own or are you actually with other people? No, this one is, this one, this product business is all myself. It's totally um, you. Okay. Yeah, I've, I've sort of explored projects in the past with other people, but that was another thing that I wanted to, I wanted to challenge myself and said, you know, you've always found a way to maybe it's that sort of reliance on having support from someone else. And yeah. you no, know, it's about time you take the plunge yourself. Yeah. And do it yourself. So, yeah. And I guess that's part of the realization of self love that was kicking in. It's not mm. that, you know, I work excellently with other people and, the, and there are times that you do need to, to work with others. Yeah. Um, and there might be times where I might need to seek investment and get a partner for this business if it does take mm. off the way I wish. Yeah. Um, however, it, I wanted to build it myself. I wanted that. Um, I want, you know, it, it was an expression of, of myself and what I wanted to achieve and what yeah. I wanted to bring to the world. And through the journey, I, you know, I've continued to research um, myself um, about the business and that you can, it, as you do with your work, it's, it's a lifelong process. Yes. Um, and if, if I'm getting involved in a product business and I want to know everything about the industry um, and, and I've done that. And as I've done that, I've, I've you know, I believe that we, it's just that I believe we need to, it's a journey. Everything is a journey and you, you continue to learn as you go through that process. Um, so, and you get new revelations as you go along. So it's about, as you said, getting that self-love foundation, mm. which is so crucial and then living through that, but still, still driving towards your dreams you know yes yeah, for anyone that's you still have to do some you know it's always that thing people i find ask me so if i'm just if i do all the law of attraction stuff and the imaginal stuff does you know do i have to do any action well i would say yes you do because you still need to if i just sat on the couch and didn't do any youtubes i wouldn't have a business yeah you need to do a little bit of giving somewhere or research or, you know, applying for a job or, you know, whatever it is like with what you're doing, you research it and you find out about it. And then you try to connect you and your product with the world. You have to be on some platform or some something. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. And if I, if I, if I didn't invest myself totally in, in it, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have developed the passion I have for it now. And I, I mean, the more I've gone through the journey, um, as I've seen your, you know, your, your testament to it, because I think when I first contacted you, you were, you know, you, you just started out. So yeah. Yeah. You were with, you started with me a long time ago. You were one of my yeah. first, 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 first people. So, to be honest, I, I remember you, I remember you having a, a, maybe a, a thousand uh, yeah. subscribers at the time and, yeah. and look at how exponentially you've grown. Yeah. Um, and, and, you know, and your messaging is just so much more powerful now as well because it's 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 so true to you now. Yeah. The same thing for me now. I, I you know, I really believe in this product business more than ever now, more than mm. ever than than I, when I first saw the opportunity, because I firmly believe in driving that collective conscience away from the the, the harmful chemical products that we have in our day to day. Yep. And that's just the more you invest yourself in something, the more you you become passionate about it. I really believe that. Yeah. So can I ask what kind of, okay, because it is a product business, not a service business, can you tell me a bit about the products? What, what kind of products have you got? Sure. Um, I mean, if, if it's okay with you, we'll, you know, we'll probably drop the, the, the website um, Definitely. On, Definitely. on your links below and, and, you know, people can, can find out more about my story and why, why I set the business up. Yep. There's a few, few, few videos there as well. Yes. Um, and the website is quite, I hope it's quite, um, it's quite clear and concise and I'm, you know, I'm open to constructive criticism. So if, 
you know, it's, we've just launched, so we're, we're, we're excited to hear feedback. Yeah. Um, we started ex- initially in the UK. So we launched the UK with the UK's first natural um, oral health subscription kit. Yeah. And, and we're now looking to, to be honest, within, within the next month, I should be able to, to deliver um, abroad as well. Um, and I will also, due to recent feedback, so we will also be opening up the, the opportunity to buy, to buy the kit as a, as a one-off purchase. So okay. people will be able to buy it rather than committing to something and then being able to cancel the pause at any time. Yeah. The thing is, um, whilst the one-off purchase is, you know, is an opportunity to trial things, what I'm selling really is an integrative, just a self-love meditations. You're, you know, it's, it's, it's a lifelong practice. Yeah. You know, I, I have to do it every day. I have to, it, we, everyone that I've been listening to on, on, on the show, you know, you have to develop it and ingrain it as part of your daily practice. And that's kind of what I believe with, with this kit, and which is why it's an essential kit. Um, because it's, it's, it's a holistic, it's preservative care. You're sort of ingraining yourself back in nature. So you have to integrate those daily practices. It's things we do anyway. It's in, in terms of brushing our teeth, but yeah. that's very light touch. So I'm, I'm, so there's a very, very premium. So I put together f- research five really effective products that I wanted to provide that holistic natural oral health care. Yeah. Um, the, the, the products include a, a really a raw, um, chemical free, uh, coconut oil. Okay. It took me a long time to research it. And it's, I chose a brand that was, you know, that was synonymous to, to, to what I wanted to deliver that rooted in nature and sort of less, uh, um, energetic footprint as well. Yep. Um, there's an eco-friendly ethos to, to the business as well, as best as we can be. I, I, I won't make promises that we can be hundred percent eco-friendly. Yeah. It's difficult yeah. with packaging sometimes, but yeah. that, that, that's, that's the aim as well. Because that's kind of what we're saying, Guy. You know, the the business is called Gaia's Riches, so it's nature's properties, and we want you to connect to nature's properties. And the concept is that Mother Earth ha- has everything we need, yeah. and we connect to. If we connect to Mother Earth, Mother Earth has everything we need. It has all the goodness that we we have. It's in our properties. You know, there's there's studies actually that. The studies of, of, of doctors going into, uh, you know, into the, the Aboriginal lands in Australia as well and in the past as well and in other tribal uh, states and, and, and comparing, you know, people on a whole food diet yeah. and having just natural sort of natural properties to care for their bodies and teeth and gums yeah. versus, versus people that, ha- you know, have moved to more processed foods. Mm. And you can see that you can see the difference. The, the, there were studies on it. Yeah. Um, and, and, that, and that's the concept I want to drive, that basically is, as Mother Earth looks after us, we have a responsibility to look, look after it as well. So that's where the eco-friendly focus comes on. But Lovely. I'm, I'm too passionate, Agnes. You know, you got me talking too much. No, no, no. <laughs> look to me. I, I, veered, I veered off from your original question, <laughs> no, which is what, what was the products? <laughs> No, look, to me, someone talking about what they're passionate about in terms of work and where they're going, it's always so interesting because you know the person's connected to the product or service or dream that they have and that in itself is always, it's fascinating. It's always yeah. fascinating. And okay, I'll, you can answer I'll, the product question now. I'd, I'd totally forgotten I even asked you that now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say, I'll say that, which is why I keep saying, I'll keep driving people back to the website. Yes. Because that will probably prevent me waffling on about every other yeah. thing that's going on in my but, life. But, oh, that's fine. That's fine. Let but, me ask you with the website, because we haven't looked at it yet. Is it click on and purchase off the website? Is it like that? Yeah. It's, it, initially, it's just a, it's an online business. It's e-commerce. Okay. Cool. Um, um, as I said, uh, probably within a within a few weeks, we'll be able to offer the, the, the worldwide um, postage as well within nice. our limits. You know, we're, you know, we're, we're not, we're not of huge scale. We're bootstrapped at the moment. We're not getting those uh, yeah. huge, huge shipping um, volumes that are required to, to, to yeah. get the, to get the rates down. But yeah, but, you, you will. Know, yeah, it'll yeah we'll get there. We'll That's get there with a few more visualizations. We'll get yeah, there. exactly. <laughs> Where's, um, where do you keep your stock to, to, for your website to, you know, send stuff out. Where's the stockpile? So it's uh, we've got a 
family place in Leicester, uh, yeah. in the Midlands and in, in UK. Okay. And um, we're sort of operating out of there. And, um, you know, one of the most special women in my life, aside from the specific, the specific uh, people, yeah. <laughs> um, is my mum. She's, she's gladly stepped up to the, to the fore. Uh, and she, she, she's, she's um, agreed that initially, initial stages to, to help me do the fulfillment. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm, most of my time is based in London, um, working with clients, so, you know, still yeah. doing my day-to-day -day work. Yeah. Um, and I, I kind of manage a, di a division for a sports broadcasting media company. So that takes a lot out of me really. Yeah. Um, but uh, for, for anyone that, that's interested and in listening to this, um, I actually, similar to Agnes, I have quite an international background. I, I grew up in Kenya. Yeah. Oh, um, I wanted to ask you, Dash, where were you born? Yeah, I'm, I'm from Kenya. I still say, I still born have a strong- Born in Kenya. Yeah, my, my family still has a base there. Okay. So we're in between the two countries. Yeah. Um, but I've also lived in, in Spain. I've lived in um, Brussels um, and, and spent obviously a lot of time in the UK. Um, yeah. But being, being from Kenya as well, I think there's, maybe that's why I'm so ground, grounded and rooted in the, in, the, in the nature as well. Yeah. And um, for, for me, it's like it's looking back, it's, it's interesting how the pieces have fallen together because I've obviously set up this product business. Um, which is a natural products business. But as I've developed the self-love and the meditation, I'm selling a holistic kit, but that holistic kit, and that's what I promote on the website, that you know, it's, it's, not, it's building a community for better overall well-being. It's not just yeah. a natural products business. And that's kind of the journey I've gone through and had my teachers along the way, such as yourself, um, come, come in at a perfect time to help me to, to, to connect and to ground myself. And that's the word I want to use. Ground, it's grounding, grounding back to source. And that's what I do with my meditations as well. I do, mm. before I do some of the affirmations and stuff like that, the first thing I'll do is I'll ground my energy to, to the ground. I'll, I'll visualize, you know, my chakra, chakra system and connecting to the, to the, to the crystal earth. And, and the, the, you know, and, and that's, that's where we der derive our energy from. Yep. And that's where, that's, that's what keeps me anchored then to be able to, 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 to get into, to delve deeper into my subconscious mind. Mm. The weird thing is what I've done is through, I've also through my spiritual community as well, I've also recently did this. I learned, um, hip, I learned sort of hypnotherapy, hypnotherapy and the concepts of, hip, of hypnotherapy. And that's, and, and that's this effectively the same, con if it's effectively the same concept, it's basically getting out of your monkey mind, which is the conscious mind, because we're, we're so driven, you know, if we want to make lasting change and improve, you know, clear ourselves from past conditioning. And I think it's just effectively from what I learned from you, it's effectively what the whole opponent does anyway, yeah. because you're, you're, you, what you're doing is actually you're connecting to your, you're accessing your subconscious, uh, subconscious mind really, um, and doing the and doing the work, the inner work, to clear the subconscious mind. Because without that foundation, without those, the subconscious, the subconscious mind is effectively ninety percent of all our process in in our minds. That is running. It's effectively the operating system. If you think of a computer, it's, you know, it's all, all the, all our past traumas, all the hurts, all, everything gets stored. It's the storage. Mm. So we might consciously, and this is why we face resistance sometimes we, and because this is what I've found, at least from my experience, it might be different for someone else, but I've always been so action figured consciously and sometimes I end up being my own worst enemy because I say to myself, what well, I put in this, this action, I'm consciously driven to it. I put 90 X percent of action. I said, it's need this, this percent of results. Why is that happening? And then you end up being in a battle with yourself, but actually you've still got limitations in your subconscious and you're not. And in order to, to clear those, it takes time and it takes work and it takes access to, to the subconscious mind. I remember someone telling me this and this is for anyone interested in it. Um, the, the person who, who taught me, who did, you know, who did the course, um, actually was extremely overweight when, when they first started it. And they said that they'd, they'd, they'd done numerous diets. So she, she wasn't against diets. She said diets work. 
on a conscious level. But people often then fall back into to the addictions. Mm. And the addictions, something such as food, she explained it as something so, such as food, uh, a food addiction, for example, is um, it's, it, there's usually something behind that. It's yeah. not, that's not the issue itself, as we know. So it's, it's, it's the same thing. There's something, uh, there's something playing, playing in the subconscious that, that's, and that's, this is just the wrapper for it. Yeah. So for her, her experience was actually, she had an inferiority complex with her sister. She was insecure. She had low self-esteem. And that's what she, she learned through the journey. And she said that I, I had to realize some hard lessons. And basically she, she remembered being a child and her, you know, her sister being fantastically mm-hmm. slim, slim weighted and yeah. that being the ideal, you know, promoted by her family as well. And she even remembers her father coming to her one, one summer and saying, if you, if you can lose X amount of weight, you know, he tried to incentivize her with a check and he, he put the check up and he said, I'll give you the, and, all, and she said all it did for her was, you know, enhance the, the, the inferiority complex that she yeah. had. And the yeah. more she tried consciously to try, the more she felt less love for herself because she said, I'm, I'm trying so hard and I, I can't achieve it. Yeah. Um, and, and she said it was only once she started doing the, the, the hypnotherapy work as well as the diet that she was getting sustained progress. Yeah. That so, makes sense. That makes sense. So this is, yeah, so this is where, it's, and I think this is what you teach, this is where I believe, I, I believe that in what you were referring to before, it's not that we, we don't strive consciously towards what we want. I, I believe we need to do that. But probably more importantly, what I'm learning as well is that, is that you need to do the inner work first. Yeah. To, to allow you to get to the vibration. Mm. To be able to, to, to get the inspired action, to be able to access and to, to get into that free flowing momentum. Momentum is everything with, with business, with life, with, uh, with a specific person. I don't have that success mm. yet, but <laughs> um, you know, momentum really is everything. Yeah. And energy, like what you were talking about before, you know, having the energy and not like I've seen, like with what I do, it's really being, you know, people have said to me, why don't you get on Facebook? Why don't you get on Twitter? Why don't you, why don't you start a forum? I thought, no, I'm doing YouTube and I'm doing it well. And I'm not going to scatter my energies. And I know that that's been a good decision for me. But the thing is, we're in this 2018 scatter your energies all over the place world at the moment. So to harness yourself and keep yourself focused and keep your energy, because you only get so much energy per day. How many different things are you going to split it up towards? I mean, you've got to do your own, like you said, daily practice, your meditations, your affirmations, your, you know, have a shower, eat properly, cook, go and exercise, look after your teeth. You've got to do all this stuff. This stuff takes time. So yeah. what are you going to do with the rest of the energy that, or the rest of the energy for the day? You've got to make sure you give it and allocate it to what you really, really want to put it into. And you've got to learn the word no and say no to a lot more stuff, especially like with you. Like when I started YouTube too, I was still doing another job. Same as you. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, yeah. It comes a point where you have to, you know, you have to prioritize things and, yeah. and, uh, and, and it requires some sacrifice for some time. Yeah. Um, and then you also learn that, you know, you can't do that full time either. You've got to balance your life as well. So, so but yeah. you're, you've hit the nail on the head. And, and that's something exactly what you said back, going back to the products and the business. Uh, I'm not, I'm not selling a quick fix. I don't say, and I'm not saying that this is a whitening kit that you, you, you get X, X percent whiter teeth in X days. That's yeah. not what I'm selling. I'm selling a daily practice, mm-hmm. an integrated practice, things that we should be doing. It's, as, I, as I said, Ayurvedic principles, the yeah. concept that, and it's kind of the same concept of self-love. Ayurveda is based on the principle that the more you, you know, how you treat the internal, yeah. well then, and, 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 and the sort of the lovingness you're giving to the internal, what, what, what products you're, you're feeding yourself, what foods you're feeding your, yourselves, yeah. will then reflect on the external. Yeah. And it's exactly the same concept we teach with self-love because it's where, where you are internally, uh, your emotional state, 
yeah. is exactly what will affect on the outside how people treat you, what what experiences you 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 attract, what people you're attracting. Mm. Um, it could be the same people that 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 love you, but but uh, but uh, you know treating you exactly where your emotional state is. Yeah, exactly. So um, so yeah, it, it's it's something that if if it if it resonates with people and it's something that they want to integrate more into their daily life to, to ground themselves, to connect back to nature, the products are, you know, the products are a, a, a really raw coconut oil. Um, so it's hundred percent raw chemical free. Um, yeah. and that's for, and that's for oil pulling. The, the concept is that the, you pull it in your mouth. Yeah. It's the first thing you know, it's well known now it's, it's getting a lot more traction, but it, it's an Eastern concept. Uh, they've been doing for centuries um, and what, what you do is what the first thing you do in the morning the, the oil has the density to pull bacteria if we okay. swirl it around the mouth yeah. um, and and rather than that bacteria going back into our gut and then you, you know affecting us yeah um, the first thing you should do in the morning is actually is actually spit it out really yeah yeah um, and you need you need sort of a catalyst to pull that bacteria then you've got you've got a, an ecological bamboo toothbrush. Um, that's the same sort of eco-friendly approach that we're taking. Um, uh, there's a there's a you know my own branded char- charcoal powder, uh, which is a it, it's it's made purely from 100% coconut shell. So it is a it is an it's got absorptive and adsorptive um, properties. So it has the capacity to whiten teeth um, in a natural way. Yeah. Uh, rather than you know, rather than using harmful bleaching quick yeah. fixes that ultimately destroy our enamel. Um, and, and then you've got, you know, you've got a, an Ayurvedic tongue scraper as well. Same concept to remove the biofilm that, that we don't tend to, to get to with our toothbrushes. Um, yeah. um, and that's copper as well. So it's, it's got antiseptic qualities. Um, and then you've, I think that covers, there's a there's a natural tooth 100 natural toothpaste um which is also uh fluoride it's fluoride free which is you know i'm not going to be i'm targeting a certain market i'm not going to be i'm targeting the people that want to take a more natural approach that want to eat healthy or want to have whole foods yeah uh, if you've got a diet I'm, and i'm going to be completely transparent because i don't want to tell people you know misconcepts Fluoride, there's, it's a very, it's a, it's a strong debate in the, in the natural world, in, in, the, in the sort of, you know, health and wellness community. Is it toxic? Is it non-toxic? They say fluoride's in our tap water. Is that doing damage to us? Yeah. Uh, you know, there's, there's numerous different studies, but nothing, no clear evidence. It's not, it's not meant to, you know, they, for sure they don't have it in babies' toothpaste. In, 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 you're not supposed to have it in children's toothpaste. But, you know, I don't think we should be relying on it in our adult toothpaste either. However, the world has come so far, as we said, into becoming sort of processed agriculture and refined sugars. A diet high in refined sugars, as the dentists will tell you, fluoride does have the capacity to remineralize your teeth after being attacked by, by sugar. So there are benefits to fluoride, but obviously um, I've, I've, chose, I've opted initially for, for fluoride-free toothpaste because I, it, it's, it's more true to my band, more true to natural, more yep. true to the, the people that I want to appeal to, which is people that are also consciously thinking about what, what food they're eating. What food they're eating, yeah. Um, and and um, at the same time, uh, you know, it's, 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 so it's, it's free of any other harmful toxic chemicals or, or agents such as sodium oral sulfate. Okay. So that's, that's the kit. And we finally answered your question about 20 minutes later. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> well, we took, you know, there's always a main dish and a side salad dash. Always yeah. a main dish and a side salad. Yeah. Always. No, look, it's, it's an interesting subject because it's like, you know, a lot of us that do eat properly or eat as, you know, much better than we used to, it's like that it, it, it can't just stop there. This is another extension of, well, if you're going to eat properly and you're going to cook properly and you're going to exercise and do your meditation, doing this and that, this is another add on to the self-love. This is another part of self-love really, isn't it? 
Yeah, yeah. Mm. It, it's it's one hundred percent self love because, as I said, you. I think we often forget where we are. Just mat. We we are part of this earth. Yeah. We are matter from this earth. You know that's our na- it's our nature. It, yeah. You know our nature is 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 in the elements of this earth. We sometimes forget that, and it's that concept of when we're too busy in our minds. Something I've learned through my meditations is. And this is why deep breathing is so, so powerful, pranayama. So why, why you often start your, your, your meditations with deep breathing? Because you have to channel yourself away from your mind and back into your body. Because yeah. you can only do the work once you're in your body. Mm. It's, it's getting back into your body in order to do the work. Yes. And in order to have that free flow of mm. inspired action and everything coming to you. Because the, mo- the, the moment you're away from your your, your, your body away from your nature, you're, you know, we're, we're not, we're going to be on a journey that's not natural. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if I put that, put that in the, in the right way, but I, mm. you know, that's, mm. that's, that concept kind of is becoming more and more clear to me that we need to be in our bodies more than ever. Definitely. Especially with so much going on with technology, you know, the, the growth yeah. of technology. It's important to our progress as a civilization, but where you see you see us, we're, we're becoming so so invested in in, in apps and in technology, and mm. uh, we we need to find or have channels to bring us back to to our yeah. core. Yeah, and also not be have a finger in every single pie in terms of the technology. It's choose a couple and do them well, and then spend the rest of the day bringing yourself back to yourself, like you say, whether it's meditation or whether it's, you know, good practices around hygiene or self-love or exercise or whatever, that all of this comes together to make you live as comfortably as you can in this body while you're here on this earth. Yeah. 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 So interesting that you pick this as a business. Yeah. I mean, it's uh, again. I I don't know how. I, I don't know what was it. I'd obviously been developing, enlightening myself. The few years before, you'll understand from the story. I won't go into it. It's, my story's on the, on the website. I, when I used to live and work in, in Spain and in Gibraltar. Yeah. I I was trade. I was trading um, for a sports online gaming company, and okay. um, I had some really graveyard shifts at the time because I was quite, I, I had started off there, I was quite junior and I was trading South American markets, effectively like a, a like a financial trader, we would trade trade stock. It's, it's basically, we were trading uh, markets on sports betting. And okay. um, as much as I loved it, I, I was being pulled far away from my nature. Mm. Um, I had beautiful surroundings in Spain, the beach and everything like that, but I wasn't getting good sleep. I was, uh, had no regime. I was starting to eat a lot of takeaway and um, not, not giving myself the nutrition. So basically my self-love was diminishing. Mm. And then I started aligning myself. Like how do I, I never used to do that. How do I, do I get back to my core? What, what? Yeah. And then I started the journey of like what, what cosmetic products, you know, am I consuming and what, you know, I don't want to be consuming these things. Mm. How do I move back into more natural? But the funny thing is, so, you know, at present, I won't talk about um, her at the moment, but the weird thing is something my, um, my specific person or ex, as you call it, um, used to speak about was, was entrepreneurship. And we'd, all, we'd discuss, like, doing something like this. And it's almost like after the relationship, it. Uh, it kind of made me realize that exactly what you said, that you've got X amount of energy and yeah. it inspired me. I think I got a bit more of a kick that basically, no, I, this is the time then if it's like life hasn't worked out in, in this, in this period as, as I had planned it or had seen that it was going to pan out. Um, so instead of fighting that, let me, let me just invest myself totally into, because, because if I, if I'm not distracting myself towards what I should be doing and working towards, then I'm just in a, in a hole really, because it was just completely 
be misery at the time. Yeah. Yeah. It is good to, you know, whether you're in a relationship or not, to keep moving towards those things that really make your heart sing and things that you're inspired by and things that are meaningful and satisfying for you, whatever that is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's good. It's good. I wanted to mention to you too, Dash, the, um, you know, if you ever get to the point where it grows and you do need funding, there's that crowdfunding and Kickstarter websites. I'll mention them and I'll put them down below for people that have got ideas. I, I saw this one woman, she actually wanted to, um, she was in producing movies and she wanted to produce this movie and she put up that she wanted like $150,000 and she got it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's amazing people that start amazing projects on Kickstarter and they, they do get, you know, where they want to go as if they share the journey along the way, she was doing videos to show people where she was up to so they could see where their money was going and all this stuff. And, you know, it's, it was quite inspiring to see what people begin and what people donate to. It's wonderful. Yeah, I agree. And it's, it's something on my agenda. It's sort of working towards those. Um, yeah. Um, you know, as you said, of, there's a, there's a limited amount of energy I have at the moment, given that yeah. I'm working still. So I, I've got a huge list of things that I want to do. And yes, yeah. you, ha you have to try and fight, you know, you have to sort of list them oh, out yeah. as, and then pick them out, tick them off as you go along. Yeah. Pace yourself. Yeah. 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 Um, one thing I, I wanted to share, your affirmations have been, um, I always believed in affirmations. I always used to use them before, but, I think what hit me in the last 1.5 two years, to, you know, through the struggles, was that the the negative thoughts were just becoming so overpowering. Yeah. And then the difficulty is when I was doing the affirmations, a lot of them, you know, the self-esteem core ones that I was using from your meditations, I started integrating them so much. And when I get in, invested in something, sometimes I can get obsessively obsessive about it. I just I want to do. If I do something, I, there's no point in me doing it unless I do it 220%. Yeah. yeah. You know, get myself into it. And, and I did the same with the meditations. Of the, and then, that, then I kept hitting the wall because, and then I had to learn. The, I guess for me, the biggest journey from your lessons, for me, the biggest challenge for me really is, is learning um, the surrender part as well. Because mm. that's, that, that, and I think you, you remember that from our calls. Yeah. And that's, that's what I ultimately had to do with the business. It's a bit, a little bit more in my control, but say yeah. with, you know, I still have a desire to, to reconnect with, with my, you know, the, 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 the last relationship I had and yeah. you know, she's, she's still, um, you know, she's a wonderful person. And, um, I, you know, I have a desire to, to, to reconnect if, if, if the, if the universe allows it, but I, is exactly that now I'm just leaving it to the universe. Yeah. I used to be all action figured that on that, on that side of things as well. And ex exactly as you said, the focus is just on myself and my business and, yeah. you know, st it's, it's, you can still have the positive, happy thoughts yep. um, towards what you want, but, but then it's sort of letting go and, Mm. and uh and the same goes for 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 any visualization you know think about visualize it during your meditation meditations or whatever time you set aside in mm. the day mm. for for living in the end and then and then and then let it go and then you know i, I think when you're involved in different projects it's easier to let go yep you're yep. so and you probably find that but because you in that moment, you're, you're kind of living in that moment. If I'm speaking to a supplier or if I'm marketing this or I'm, yeah. if I'm doing this, I, I, I don't, I have no time to think about any, any sort of jumping around thoughts. that, that yep. come into Yeah, which is such a great thing because it's like the ultimate distraction, doing something you love. Yeah. Yeah. You go, wow, I haven't thought about the longing or the neediness or the wanting or any of that stuff for the last, you know, eight hours. Cause I've been engaged creating this thing and I'm really passionate about it. I really love it. And it's taken me to another place of joy rather than that place of feeling really crap. Yeah. Yeah. Um, one other thing with the affirmations is I, so I've obviously, I still do them a lot. I integrate uh, affirmations into my daily, daily practice. Yep. 
um, someone, someone I know, as I mentioned in my spiritual community, she gave me a, a nice variation. It's my little chair to everyone because it's kind of helped me. I know you've, you've promoted the, the wouldn't it be nice uh, sort of inception to the aff affirmation. Yeah. Um, to kind of trick your mind because our minds are so, so yeah. smart and sometimes bring us to that feeling low again because your, your mind just then battles with you when you're telling yourself the affirmation. I, I was hitting that resistance and I had a few low days and then I tried to counter it with affirmations and it, you know, it wasn't working. Um, with some of my own statements, it wasn't working. And she, she then kind of said, if you, you know, why don't you say something like, I believe in the possibility of, and that, that's really worked for me these last few weeks because it's, it's just, mm. uh, so, you know, for example, I really believe in the possibility of guys riches taking off. I really believe in the possibility of guys riches fulfilling people's needs. Yeah. That, and these kind of, these kind of things, it, it, it takes, cause some, you know, the doubts do creep in. It's hundred percent natural. Yeah. Uh, you know, like you, you go two, two, three weeks and you're wondering, you know, um, there's, there's not as much traction as I expected. The mind will stop playing tricks. And yeah. like, are you on the right track? What, what are you doing? Mm. What do I need to do otherwise? And it, this just helps you move away from that. And it's almost like I believe in the possibility because everything is a possibility. Mm. And you can't question that. That's lovely. Mind, mind won't question that. That's really nicely worded. I like that. Lovely. Lovely. I think um, the viewers will get some use out of that because yeah, if you say, Oh, I am wealthy and I've got a successful business, your head goes, no, you're not. No, you don't. You don't have that. Like it instantly comes back at you and then you go, Oh yeah. Okay. Well, no, it's not. But if you go, wouldn't it be nice if, or I believe in the possibility of having a successful business and your head can't argue with that. Cause it's like, it, it is a, wouldn't it be a nice possibility? Wouldn't it be nice if, and yet, your head kind of quiets down and goes, yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> when you say it in those ways. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, that's so wonderful. It's so good because I haven't talked to you for a while. And, you know, I knew you had sent me some emails about, you know, that it was moving along and all that. But to hear it live is, is really lovely. And, and, yes, when you are still focused on at some point reconnecting with a specific person. What a wonderful way to distract. What a wonderful thing to put your energy into. It yeah. helps you rebuild your confidence as a person. It helps you just get some, you know, we have jobs or we do things for money, but to start to move towards meaningful work that we really resonate with and we think is making a difference on a small scale and then it can grow into a bigger scale is, you know, that's such a great thing. I love, I really love this subject. I think it's such a, we spend so much time working and we need, you know, our survival is important. It's one of those things that we have to deal with in our lives is survival and, and having a roof over our head and having food and clothing. It's basic. So it's a huge area of importance to, if you're going to be making money and you need money to survive, that to actually be doing something that makes you bring money in and you enjoy doing it if you're there for six to eight hours a day. Dash, yeah. are, you, are you doing five days in your job? Are you working Monday to Friday? Yeah, I do my, my, my regular days and then um, I've kind of found time to incorporate you know, progressing on the business in, in, in the evening. I, I mean, I, I have some flexibility in, in my, in my work to, if I need to take calls with the, you know, developers or yeah. with suppliers or whatnot, you know, I, I have that flexibility. Oh, great. I've, I've, I've found a way to develop that. That's, that's fine. I still get all my, my work done for, yeah. for, yeah. The, for the company that I've been working for. Um, but, you know, I always believe that, you know, where there's a will, there is a way. It, it, it's, it's somehow, you find, somehow get things done. Yeah. I, think I, 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 read a, I read a Richard Branson quote the other day, actually, and he, I think it's attributed to him, but basically he says that if, if you don't know how to do something and someone offers you the, the opportunity, just say yes anyway, and you learn along the way. Yeah. And, um, and it's, 
and it's it's taking that first step to 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 things that sometimes take us out of that fear you know fear mentality and yeah. then and then the inspired action starts coming because it's almost like the universe mm. is, you know seeing you to, you know taking taking a step away from from you know the usual negative mm. thoughts and and limitations yeah and I almost reward you with that because you know you're you're taking the steps and then if you're doing the self love and actually feeling good then it's maximized yeah. it does so. you know dash i think the most important thing i do for my business is my meditation in the morning my walk during the day with my affirmations and then that I have an afternoon sleep or I lay down, do a meditation during the day. I think that doing that is what actually creates my business just working effortlessly for me. Yeah. And I know it yeah. looks unrelated, but it, uh, I mean, I, you know, I don't do any marketing at all. All my marketing is me just giving stuff on YouTube and information and all that stuff. And it, you know, even when I'm sleeping, the YouTubes are being watched all over the world. So I don't have to go, I'm going to go and put ads anywhere and I'm going to have to do marketing and I'm going to have to put myself on Facebook ads. I've I made a decision. I never wanted to do any of that. I wanted to really put the whole principle of the law of attraction of energy giving and that's that, amazing it's, i i mean i didn't know that sorry to interrupt but you've yeah. so you've grown you've grown organically completely then throughout your 100 percent. and the other thing i made a decision that i would never say subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up um you know share my posts i i, I hate when i go on youtube and they're always prompting you to do something for them i yeah. don't like yeah. that and if i'm going to be a law of attraction coach and practice what i'm talking about yeah. i don't why would i be prompting people that's just goes against everything that the law of attraction is about. So I made a decision when I saw other people doing that and I was thinking, Oh, hang on, you're a law of attraction coach. Why are you telling people like my page, subscribe to my channel, go and look at my website, go and do this, go and do that. What are you doing? And I thought, okay, I'm really seeing what I don't like and what I think goes against the whole foundation of new age stuff is. And I thought right, okay. I'm going to do it very slowly, very steadily from the word go. If people want to find me, they find me. If people, people know how to use Google, they know how to use YouTube. I trust people just know what they're doing. And I know yeah. whoever I'm supposed to work with will come and they do. And, but like you said, in the beginning, you know, you've got kind of wiggly legs and you, your confidence yeah. has to grow. Cause when I first met you, I honestly didn't have the confidence with that stuff. I was still having sleepless nights and working 12 hour days. Cause I, was really freaking out about my survival. I was, I didn't, yeah. I'd lost, I'd left my high paying job and I basically um, had injured my back and I was on, you know, 12 months off work and my savings was going down and I was thinking, okay, if this doesn't take off, I have to get a job. Do I want to work for someone else? No, hell no. So I was really working mentally on the law of attraction and the meditation and the affirmations and all the stuff that I do on the channel on my own self to, to prove to myself that this stuff was possible Yeah. in my forties, quite late when most people on YouTube are fairly young, I thought, okay, I'm just going to go, who cares about that? I'm doing this. And it was a risk. It was a huge risk. And it's yeah complete complete <laughs> yeah. i mean I, i've I've learned things that i didn't know there actually and the complete organic growth is just fantastic yeah um, it is it really is more so than that it's like you know what you said exactly before i think you said it earlier in the talk is it, everything is energy and if you're not doing those meditations that you said that are so vital for you at lunchtime whatnot yeah. um, you're not going to be delivering no the, the, work that you need to do which nope. is so built upon your your energy being being grounded yeah so. yeah absolutely and i can't be talking about how to manifest a specific person or how to do meaningful work or how to manifest trips if i haven't done it myself i have to be living from a place of integrity that i've been able to do it so i'm not talking out of you know what part of my body you know so yeah it, it is very much um 
uh, it's almost like you're constantly um, showing yourself how good your energy is, showing yourself how focused you are, showing yourself how disciplined you are, showing yourself how inspired you are by how good you are today from morning till bedtime. How good, how good did I manage my energy? How good did I focus? How good was my discipline? How good was my meditation? And you don't have to do it perfectly every day. But it's like yeah. you kind of play this fun game with yourself of, you know, really conserving your energy and allocating it to only those things that are really meaningful. Yeah. Mm. I, I mean, and I, I still do that with about a year and a half. I, as I said, I still do other things. I do other sort of meditations as well. Yeah. Um, but, uh, and I do, I also started incorporating some self-hypnosis as almost yeah. talking to the conscious mind. Um, you know, once, once I'm into that really deep, um, I, I mean, a hypnotic state against the myths, uh, that, that people often see, it's basically just a relaxed, um, state of autopilot where, where you're, where you're, you're so deep, effectively that meditative state where you're, yeah. you feel that you're accessing your subconscious mind, your conscious mind is not racing around everywhere. And you're at the, in that point, then I start to almost speak to my, almost like a prayer. I'll speak to my, um, subconscious mind and and start to ask it um, um, questions effectively like you do with the Ho -ho 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 prayer. You know? Yeah. Um, and like I think in, I can't remember his name, Dr. Hu Lin, right? Yep. Yeah. So his um, effectively, you know, that there's that really good inner child meditation. He yeah. does. And it's the same concept. What, once you're in that meditative state, then you're almost talking to, and for him, that inner child is effectively your subconscious mind. Yeah. So, and you're then talking to yourself. And that's, it's the same sort of principles that, yeah. that hypnotherapy has, that this has. And um, yeah, I'll still do my meditations um, half an hour every morning. I'll do mm. half an hour for sure at night. Yeah. Um, sometimes I choose to, to have a script where uh, if, I, if I need to um, in the evenings before I go to bed. Um, sometimes that, you know, if, if, if you hit an obstacle, I, I'll try and do one in the day, but I, the more I've, the more I've progressed um, on my journey, and the more I've sort of got distracted in the work that, I, that that's that, that's important to me at the moment, the less yep. I've felt the the need to. There was a point, and I think you said it, it from your past experience, but at the very start, there was a point where I could have probably done this meditation twenty four hours a day. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> because I needed it that badly at the time. Yep. Um, yeah. But then, as you progress, you just become more grounded and less almost it just becomes more efficient yes and the thing is with those meditations i think the one that i really love from from you um for the morning is i think it's your self-love meditation too is that and with music you, or on the music uh, or the no music it's no music. It's okay. one of your. Early, it's one of your earlier ones. It's the sec, self love meditation too, I think. Okay. But the one I love about it is because it's it's uh, you obviously getting into the meditative state, doing the affirmations, and then the, the very end is that I love it when you say, um, I can't remember exactly what the words are, but you say something like, um, "Today, uh, t today is going to be an amazing day," and I absolutely love that in the morning wow. because it's, it just sets the intention for the day. Lovely, lovely. So I don't, that's, I that's, don't remember it because it was a long time ago. But yeah, that's nice, <laughs> nice to know. <laughs> yeah, Dash, I have done a whole meditation channel with music now. I don't know if you've seen it, but it's a lot of the meditations have now been redone. With one okay. of the, one of the viewers does my music, so she's yeah. She said to me, "Have you thought about doing music?" And and I had done some, and my music wasn't good because I'm not a techie. So she's actually yeah. helping me now with that. So okay, well, I'd, yeah, I'm, I'll definitely <laughs> listen to them. Yeah, probably put, put if you can put the link again there because yeah, obviously I've got into this um, regime now where I kind of I know what what's been working for me and, yeah. and I'm kind of visualizing them. So yeah. Oh, it's great. Well, it's been really good catching up with you. I, it's so Thanks. nice. Look, I just get inspired when people start their own thing. I just, to me, when people are starting, even if you're in transition, it hasn't kicked off yet. You know, like I look back at 2016 and I was flying by the seat of my pants. I had two clients a month. I, I, I couldn't even have paid 
for more than one lunch and one dinner from the money I was making. I, I wouldn't have been yeah. able to pay my rent. I wouldn't have been able to pay my bills, nothing. And that was January, 2016. And now, you know, I've, impl- I've got three subcontractors working for me doing different bits and pieces. Two of them, are, two of them are viewers of mine have now subcontracted to me and, and it's starting to grow. And I mean, it's grown already beyond my, you know, my wildest dreams. And I'm now, str- I mean, now I've got problems of struggling to keep up how to deal with the, um, avalanche yeah, it's, it's, of emails that are coming it's it's, it's, sca- it's scale now right you've got to scale up like a business and oh. I, I guess back, back in 2016 you probably it's a it's a nice problem to have huh? it is and it's a <laughs> problem i honestly didn't I, I mean i didn't visualize and expect it so it's quite funny that it's happened and now i thought god i never thought that this could happen i thought i would just kind of you know have enough work to maybe travel once or twice a year and but it, it is, I think the whole self-love thing has really resonated with a lot of people and the yeah. lack and the lack of it. And w- whether it's in business or whether it's in relationships or whether it's in finances, the, self, the lack of self-love, it kind of leaks into all those areas and affects all those areas. So, you know, it really is so great when we work on it and then stuff starts to flourish the money the relationships the businesses the trips the whatever it just injects it into everything we do yeah yeah there's probably a lot of background noise now where i'm where i'm at can you hear oh, that oh it's okay no they've just started there's... putting the music on now so <laughs> perfect timing perfect timing yeah, exactly yeah yeah. Well, how about we, we, have you got any last words you want to say before we sign off? Um, I always knew it was going to be my, my vocation ultimately to, to be, um, to develop businesses and to, to get into a more entrepreneurial mindset. Yeah. Um, I still enjoy what I do on the day to day, but I, I, I always knew that about myself. Um, and more so it's because of the life that I, that I want to create for myself. Uh, something that you've kind of always said is, is the, um, I want to leave my mark on the world in some, some way that's, that, that I believe is meaningful, but at the same time, whether, whether it's going to be this business or this is a foundation to something else. Yeah. But w- what I, and that's the journey that the journey will unfold. Um, but what I wanted to say is that when you get that self love up, you, you start to believe in yourself more and mm. the opportunities just flow to you. I mean, I'm already starting to think about the service business that I have because it's taken me a year and a half to develop this uh, quite a quite comprehensive product business with it, which yep. requires inventory and dealing with suppliers. And I, I've pretty much managed all departments by myself yep. for a year and a half. Yep. And this probably could have taken three months. And ultimately, I think I'm going to move into to the work because I'm exactly what you said. Because I, if I can prove this to with the concept and to be a success, then that's my that's my credentials there, really. And I've already got my credentials from from the work that I do for other companies. Yeah. And ultimately, that's the service stuff that I want to to do is basically help people drive that a little bit more, mm. so help help them move towards their their goals quicker than they would themselves. Yeah. Because um, you know, it's, a, it's, it's about leveraging networks and some, you know, the, the process, the painful processes that I had to go through really alone yeah. and at times that almost made me give up. But, but there you go. Like, even if you are going to do it alone and don't have the funds to seek advisory services yeah. from, some, from someone else, just follow, follow your instinct and, mm. and keep doing it. Yeah. And believe in yourself. Yeah. For sure. Because there's never as, and I mean, all the influencers will say this in the world, but there's never, there's never a failure in life. If you've tried to, if you tried to launch something or tried to develop something, not, not just business, um, where you've taken a shot. Um, it's never, a fa- it's, it's, it's never a failure. It'll just teach you something Yep. that will help you improvise and capitalize on later there you go see the, you got, the party's kick, the party's kicking in now you got a good tune going on in the background yeah exactly ah <laughs> yeah. uh, well thank you dash thank you very much for coming and talking and 
It's good to hear about just creating something for you. Creating yeah, and, and more importantly, thank, thank you, Agnes. This is my thank you to you because um, gratitude is everything. Um, as you said, people, you wanted people to find you organically. It was meant to be. It was meant to be that I, I, need, I needed you at some point in my life. That's mm. we are. I really believe that that we we're all inter- interconnected in some in, in yeah. some way. There are people. You know, you cross paths with with people for for specific reasons, and you've obviously come into my life for a reason to to help me potentially get back on track from a low point in my life, um, or maybe to help me refine some of the to get to the next level of my self-love, education, and enlightenment. Enlightenment. So, um, your your work resonated with me. Um, you know, people will resonate to to energies that they find easier to resonate to. Yeah. Yours resonated with, with, with me. Um, I don't think there's a blueprint for, for everyone, but but yeah. that's that's it really. It's like your and that's and that's the thing that's the universe working really where if you have an intention the difficulty is the the, the illusion of time that you often so speak about yeah and it's the same battle that i've had because sometimes i still i still yeah. will, will get frustrated and think well why has this not happened so quickly or what you know what what's happening you know what, what's why am i getting this obstacle but it's not i think when you look back it's Things are working out for you if you've got the intention to to work on that and to improve. Mm. Um, be, yep. the, the right people were coming into me. It just things, you know, seeds just take longer to develop than we sometimes expect. Yeah, yeah, I agree. You never look at seeds and go, "Wow, why did that grow so fast?" <laughs> it's yeah. usually what's why is it taking so long to sprout? This it's amazing. <laughs> the more inspired action because you've just you just reminded me of a quote that I actually posted on, on our Instagram page yeah. for the business but basically it's a Lao Tzu quote and it's um, nature nature is never in a hurry but yeah. everything is, but everything is accomplished yeah beautiful beautiful that's a good way to finish this uh, interview good words from who did you say it's from Lao, I, th- I believe it's Lao Tzu. Oh, yes. Yeah. 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 Beautiful. Well, I think we will sign off, Dash. Um, do you want to hang on and you and I'll say goodbye behind the scenes on our own? Do you want to say yes, goodbye? Yes, let's to- do that. Okay. I'd say, I'll say goodbye to everyone. Continue yeah. to believe in yourself. Continue to work um, yeah. towards your vision, towards your visualizations. Yes. And, and, and do the self-love that Agnes is such as strong advocate for it you know it's it, it really is the foundation to it. i think everyone most of the viewers who come on they're right it, it really is the foundation to, to yeah. yeah i think the dance floor is calling me soon also <laughs> you know what that's what i love about london and the uk the just the music so good <laughs> okay everybody i'm signing off to Thank you, Dash. Thank you to the viewers. I'll put all the links down below of everything we talked about. And we will see you in the next YouTube. Ciao, ciao.